Hey Gemini, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of June general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. And again, happy birthday season, my fellow Geminis. Okay, so as you can see, I'm doing this a little bit different because as I'm doing this reading right now, today is my birthday. So I want to spend time with my family and friends. So I want to give you guys a short reading. I didn't want to just, you know, miss a week because I do want to share this time and this space with you because I am grateful that you guys have been here supporting me, allowing me to be able to do what I came here to do. So again, I want to do this quick reading for you and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um... The song, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was No Games by, I believe his name is Sereni, Sereni. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right or wrong, but you guys know I always leave the songs in the description box below. So just go ahead and click the link and it'll take you directly to the song. You can listen to it following reading if you so choose to. Now, in the beginning of the song, he says, girl, I'm really feeling you. I hope you feel me too. Or he's, he's basically asking, like, are the feelings mutual between you know the two of them now here's the thing you guys know already if you don't see the cards on the deck stacked up together you already know once i start partnering i seen some cards that already was resonating with the energy that i picked up as is the case okay so when i parted the deck immediately okay you got the star card wish fulfillment and healing and the sun card some of you guys could be dealing with aquarius or a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. But when I get Major Arcana, it's definitely an energy of their Sun sign or time frame. So Aquarius season, January, February. Leo season, July, August. Very strong energy. You got the Sun and you got the Star. I feel like somebody is really focused on you. Somebody is seeing that they can have a future with you. Because the Sun is also the energy of the future. Possibly within, um, if, if you are single, you may be meeting someone in Leo season because this is very strong Leo energy. And then for others, I feel like somebody is coming in. Some of you guys are getting ready to have some type of wish fulfillment come towards you with the star card. Definitely could be coming in Leo season. You guys know I have been preaching. If you're new to the channel, I have been preaching a time frame of April to August. Very, very strong as far as connections, new money, things like that. that this time frame is going to be very monumental for a lot of people and again i'm gonna say gemini this is our year this is a six year our card okay the lovers it is six so this is gonna be a very strong and profound year for us in those areas as far as money finance love things like that stability and to have these two cards <laughs> come out i'm telling you like i would go listen to the song if you've never heard the song he literally is saying how he has strong feelings for this woman and he hopes that she feels the same way this is somebody's hopes and wishes, you know, is that you guys are going to be on the same page. This person is going to come towards you. I'm Even before um, Leo season for a lot of you all, if you're already in a relationship, there could be some healing between you and your person with the um, star card here. If there was some disrapport between the two of you all, someone also could be finding out they're pregnant. Or you could be pregnant currently. Somebody could be possibly three to four months pregnant, I'm getting. Yeah, possibly. Wow. As I say three to four months, I just want you to notice here. You got three on this side, but then there's one peeking out right there. So, and the three is by the baby. And then notice also right here with the star, you have four and three. So, somebody could be three to four months pregnant, or you could have had a baby three to four months ago with this person that you are watching for. Or three or four months from now, you could be, because three months from now, well, two at this point, Leo season, you could be finding out that you're pregnant. I feel like somebody is a dude. Look at how the, the son's eyes are looking. Like, this person has their eye on you. Like, they're really... You could be somebody very intense. Or this person has very intense... Feel, okay, that's what I'm hearing. Somebody has some very intense feelings about you. Someone can have wavy hair. And you guys see me use these cards all the time. And I'll never get that. Somebody can have wavy hair. Let's see what we get for you guys today. Okay. We're going to get one card for your clarifier. I mean, for your um, general energy. Yeah, I'm telling you, so communication is coming towards you. You got the Eight of Wands. Fast-moving communication coming out of the blue unexpectedly, but I feel like this will be a wish fulfillment for a lot of you all. If you're single, you have communication coming in from somebody who is going to be a future mate. And if you are in a relationship with someone, and like I said, you guys are not seeing eye to eye because if you notice her back is facing the Eight of Wands, somebody's coming towards you, but this will make you happy. This will be someone that you are hoping to hear from. Yeah, because you two have been at a distance. You have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Um, but more than anything, the hermit is someone who's going on a journey on their own. 
seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, going within. Also, the hermit, you're typically triggered to go into hermit mode when something happens. And look what's peeking up right here. Somebody's coming towards you guys, whether it's someone you know or someone new. You guys have a love interest coming towards you. This is usually the knight in shining armor, somebody who's charming, comes in and sweeps you off your feet. Male or female, somebody who, who you would be very happy to be connected with. I'm going to say again, for some of you guys, it could definitely be an Aquarius. You see how his lantern is literally a star. Could be Aquarius. Something could have happened in Aquarius season, January, February. You could start dating someone. You or your person could have separated during that time. You would put that where it applies. Whatever the case, I feel like somebody's finding their way either back back to you or towards you is what I'm getting, okay? So let's get a clarifier for the lovers, for Gemini, someone like, oh my God, you guys seem to flip out. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You guys, look, yeah, you guys have either somebody coming towards, towards you or back to you. You got your card twice. Now I'm saying, if you look at this, she's here in a physical, he's a ghost. He's not physically there, but here... He's present. She's looking up at this angel like, can she trust this? But he's looking at her. So look here. This is going to be one hell of a month for you all, for us, okay? This is going to be a dope. And it is dope. I like this. Um, If you notice here, and I have to cover it because, you know, you got to YouTube snitch bitches. But they're completely dressed. Right here, they're nude. Nudity always talks about vulnerability, feeling exposed. I feel like when this person comes back, you're going to feel very vulnerable, very raw. Especially if somebody ghosted you, because again, he's not physically there. If somebody ghosted you, this is why she's questioning and she's asking the universe, is it safe for her to reconnect with this person? Because she doesn't want shit to go down the flames like last time. She's also wondering if this person's temptation, you know, this is that Adam and Eve vibe. You got the snake back there. She's very cute. And I keep saying she, but it could be a male also, again, putting where it applies for you. It just very much looks like. You're either meeting someone new or somebody's coming back. It looks like, I'm going to say again, some of you all may have missed this person because she's already in his arms and he's not even physically there. Somebody misses being in someone's arms. Somebody misses being with this person. Something definitely cropped up between them. You see how you have a hill, a mountain, mountains and hills. Talk about hurdles, challenges that you need to get over. Something possibly got between the two of you all. And I'm going to say again, some type of temptation, something got in between you and your person. If this is somebody that you're thinking about, immediately, whoever you think about, okay, on the pull up, as soon as you come to this reading, whoever you're thinking about, this person is definitely coming back towards you. Uh, for a lot of you all, this person came back around the time of your birthday, if your birthday already passed, or if you are a June Gemini, this person will be coming back before, you know, sending you some type of text message or something like that on your birthday. And you're going to be questioning, literally look how she's looking like, can I trust this? You're going to be questioning whether or not it's worth it to allow this person back into your life. You see how big that sun is right there? You started off the reading with the sun. Look how huge that sun is. For some of you guys, it's definitely going to be a Leo. Even the angel's hair is flames. Some of you guys are going to be a Leo. I'm getting Sag also. Now, even though this is not Sag, I'm just looking at him. It makes me think about... um. The archer. I don't know why, because it doesn't look like that, but I'm just getting it. Oh, wow. And as I say, Sad, you see on his breastplate, this is an animal. It looks like a, a dragon, but it's making me think of an S. So some of you guys are definitely going to be a Sagittarius as well. That's what I'm getting here today. I like the fact that your major arcana came up twice, which means you are definitely, and you are twins, and you got two Gemini cards here. You guys are going to be in rare form in your birthday season for sure. I definitely feel like you have a love interest that's coming towards you strong, 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 strong. Either a new one or someone who ghosted you or you kicked to the curb is what I'm getting here. And I'm going to tell you right now, when this person comes back, they're not going to play no games about you. They they want you. Both of these cards, if you really look at it, it's, I'm, it's, it's a lot of passion here. They really want you. Very passionate cards in both. Again, these car, on this card, these people are nude and here. This person is waiting to be back in this person's arms, even though they're not physically there. It's like you could still feel this person. And if you've been completely single for a while, it's some of you guys, you may be having dreams about meeting someone. And I, I feel like they're, the universe is preparing you. This person's first middle last name could be C-G-M-W-S-L-I-K and you, Okay. So thank you so much, Gemini, for watching Queen Airbender Tarot. Until next time, please continue to like, share, and subscribe. Happy birthday again. Bye.